All right, so I don't know about you guys, but this season has been horrible with allergies. Like today, for example, I have just been congested. I can barely hear out of my right ear. It's like been in airplane mode this whole entire week. And I just don't know what the hell is going on with this season entirely because the last few years have just been fine. And I've been taking allergy medicines and everything and it's just been very, very rough. I, I don't even know. But, but, but that's not going to stop me from making this video because we are sponsored by our good friends from Banggood to make this 75% keyboard build from Fecker. This is a gasket mounted 75% and I am super, super stoked to be building this from Banggood. They sent out a bunch of parts, the keyboard, keycaps, and even the switches for me to build this keyboard and just show you guys how I would do it. And I have full creative control and how I want to mod this. So I'm just super, super excited. And, and the best part is it's actually not any other keyboards I've built before. So this is my first ever 75% and it's also not my normal color scheme. It's in blue, which is kind of crazy. I usually have like monochrome colors, like grays, blacks, or whites, but this is my first ever like saturated colorful keyboard and it's a blue keyboard. So yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with this setup, but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna build this thing to the max. I wanna have so much fun and it's gonna be a great video. I, I just can't believe that Banggood reached out to me for this. So I'm just really, really stoked. Let's get ahead and start building this keyboard. Let's go. So unboxing the Fecker IK75 was very simple. Obviously we have this nice white box, take out the nice wrap, and we're greeted to a quick start guide with all the key shortcuts and just some basic information about the Fecker IK75. And then we have this USB-C cable that it's braided and has this nice leather uh, wrap around it to make sure it's in place, which is kind of cool. And then you're also greeted with an assortment of Fecker switches, which is really cool. You get this nice keycap and switch puller. And then we have the keyboard. So what's cool about this is it actually comes with a polycarbonate plate. And this is definitely what I'm going to be using for this build. It just looks really fun to work with. I've never worked with a polycarbonate plate before, and I just wanted to try this out versus the aluminum plate this time. This is not too shabby. This is really not too shabby. I think we will be removing these batteries. I don't like how it looks. And it has two go feet. Not too shabby. So yeah, there we have it. My first ever blue keyboard. And it definitely does not match the theme right now of the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and change a couple of things around and make it look a little bit better in video. Uh, I have a couple of things for that, so it's gonna look nice. But yeah. First ever blue keyboard build, and it's in a polycarbonate case. And we also have a polycarbonate plate. Like, this is gonna be a fun build. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get started on building. Keyboard. There it goes. Oh my goodness, finally. Backer, you made it so freaking impossible to open, man. Why? Make my life harder. If it's a DIY kit, it should be easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. It just all comes apart. We are going to go straight to the poly crate. Obviously, disconnect the batteries. We will also not be using that. I personally do not need any wireless keyboards. Budget build after all, you know what I mean? Cool. There's some loop, unfortunately. So we're going to have to clean that up. But we will be doing that now. So unfortunately the stabilizers are lubed. I really wished it wasn't because I was going to install the holy mod. And what's also nice is the feet is actually clipped so you don't have to do any clipping of the, the feet which is great. Uh, and so after lubing the stabilizers uh, I actually have to install the polycarbonate plate this time. And with that you do have to install standoffs uh, to the plate. So I screwed in the poly plate with the new standoffs and of course did the Tempest tape mod. Oh my god. Oh, there, take it off. Yes, sir. Ah, there we go. Alright, next thing is that we're gonna take off these standoffs. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna literally we're literally guys, we are gonna I know it looks ugly, but we're gonna rip off these standoffs. Love it or hate it, but we will be doing that. So I did clip these standoffs just to make sure everything's a little bit more comfortable with the gaskets. Then I got this silicone mat and I just cut it to place with the case foam that was already there previously. 
After that, we put the keyboard back together and now we're gonna be using these Gatoron Silver Pro switches. Uh, these are linear switches with double spring actuation, which is kind of cool. Uh, and it's actually a speed switch with 45 grams actuation force. And lastly, to match the keyboard, we are using these macaw keycaps from Akko. Uh, these are double shot PBT and they absolutely match this keyboard. It looks super, super cool with this nice orange and blue teal colorway, which is pretty dope. And it's also cool that it's double shot PBT and has some cool novelty keycaps as well. And lastly, we have this awesome accessory from CableMod. Thank you to CableMod for sending us amazing custom slimline cable. It's just this nice braided white cable with some blue accents on the connectors. And it looks absolutely amazing with this Fecker IK75 and some of my other keyboards as well. Thank you CableMod for sending these out. All right, so that's it for the Fecker IK75 build. It was an amazing experience. First off, this was the first time I've ever had a saturated like blue keyboard. And to match it with these Echo keycaps and also this Gutsy Aiden desk pad and the cable mod wire, it looks so good on this desk. I mean, just accompanying it with different little things like this wallpaper as well, like it just really elevates how your desk setup looks, especially if you're building a nice colorful keyboard like this. Other than that, we did a couple of mods that I thought was really, really cool. First was like adding that silicon pad inside to just dampen the sound because it is a pretty hollow board straight up. I mean, they add some pads and stuff, but it's not enough. Uh, we did switch out the plate, which was really cool. And we also clipped out the standoffs just to give it a better gasket feel. Uh, I definitely see the difference. It's much more comfortable and I, I really do like how it feels when I'm typing on it. Uh, this is also my first time ever using these Gatoron silver switches. My sister did lube them, so thank you Yumi for lubing these switches and they do feel nice and comfortable. But overall, this build was an amazing opportunity. Just to work with Banggood is just really, really cool, but also just to have this really nice looking keyboard that's budget and also saturated. I never had a saturated keyboard like this, so this is pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys like this keyboard, if you guys like how I mod it, I know I did a really intrusive stuff, so if I did anything wrong, I mean, let me know. I mean, I just did what I think was right, so yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later. Peace!